Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be predicting the scores for the round of 16, the first leg of uh, this year's Champions League. We are through now to the knockout stages, round of 16. Um, so yeah, first leg, I'm going to be trying my best to predict the uh, the the following uh, the following matchups scores so starting off straight away with PSG against Real Madrid this is going to be a really good game the the all are basically but this one especially is is one of the top games Lionel Messi at PSG facing his old Spanish rivals Real Madrid and I think it'll be a very tight game. I am going to I am going to back a team to win this one, and it is the uh, Paris are the, the the home team in this game. So I am going to back the home team for a two one victory. Um, I just feel like Paris uh, Saint Germain they've just got a bit more quality in their side. Real Madrid doing decently in La Liga this season, but then again. They're normally one of the teams that are like top, top, top of, of the Spanish league, either them, Atletico Madrid or Barcelona. Uh, but I'll just back Paris Saint Germain in this one. More quality. Neymar, Mbappe. I've already said Messi. Just that front three. I'm going to say they're going to get the goals and they'll, they'll win it 2 1. Next game is Sporting. Portugal against Manchester City. Manchester City, the away team in this one. So, I, 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 obviously, there's only one team that I'm backing here. That's the Premier League side. Um, but they are away from home in this game. Normally, the absolutely smashed teams at the Etihad. So, goodness knows what the second leg game is going to be. But in this one, they're in Portugal. And I'm going to back both sides to score. I think it'll be a very tight game. Lots of goals scoring, um, loads of goals to be scored. Do not write off Sporting. There may just be a, a small club in a small league, but they're not. They're, they're really big. It's where Ronaldo came from, where Bruno Fernandes was. And I'm going to say 2-4 to Manchester City, of course. Um, Man City, I mean, do you, do you need me to go through their squad? They've not even got a proper striker for this season and still they're sharing the goals amongst themselves is absolutely brilliant. Kevin De Bruyne, Riyad Mahrez, uh, Bernardo Silva, Gundogan, Raheem Sterling, uh, just absolutely fantastic. Just a few players keeps on uh, keep on changing in that striker role or mainly a centre forward role between like De Bruyne and Foden and Sterling and um, Jesus. So, um, yeah, Man City got a good squad in for, uh, for this game. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll Man City 4, uh, uh, Sporting 2, uh, away victory for Manchester City. Next game is Inter Milan against Liverpool. And this is going to be another really good game. Liverpool have a chance to play their new January signing, Diaz, in his first Champions League game. Uh, Salah and Mane. Both back for this game as well. If 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 Klopp decides to play uh, play one of them or not, or if, if Diaz is going to play, um, Harvey Elliott is back from his uh, broken leg injury, scored against Cardiff in the FA Cup, and uh, I'm going to back Liverpool in this one. Inter Milan, top of Syria currently at the time of recording, um, may change before this, but I'm going to back Liverpool in a very tight game. Both teams to score again. I'll go into Milan 1, Liverpool 2. Next game is RB Salzburg, the Austrian side, coming up against FC Bayern Munich. Top, top club, Bayern Munich. Lewandowski, main man up front. Also in there, Thomas Muller, uh, Leroy Sané, uh, Serge Nabry, Coleman... Everyone, um, the midfield as well, like Goretzka and, and Kimmich, brilliant, absolutely brilliant side. And I don't think Salzburg is going to have a chance in this game. Fair play to them, making it through to the round of 16. Uh, but they're going to get absolutely smashed here. 
Salzburg are the home side. Bayern Munich away, doesn't matter. Salzburg nil, Bayern Munich five. I'm just going to say Bayern Munich have just way too much quality than Salzburg in this one. And th this could get out of hand for the overall two legs. This is just the first leg as well. When they go to the Allianz Arena, um, there'll, there'll be more goals uh, for sure. So yeah, Salzburg nil and Bayern Munich five. Okay, next one is Villarreal against Juventus. This is going to be more of a tight, uh, tighter game, this one. Villarreal doing uh, decently in La Liga this season. Going to be fighting for another Champions League spot for the next campaign. I'm going to go for a draw in this first leg. Juventus are away and you would back maybe Juventus in this game. They've just signed a, a top striker that... Arsenal was linked with him, Vlahovic, um, scored on his debut in the Serie A. Uh, he, may, he may get a goal in this one, but I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw between the Spanish side and the Italian side in this game. Next game is Chelsea against Lille um, of, of the French uh, league side. Chelsea, the Premier League, all right, I, I'll say... Um, a better side than, than the French side. But Chelsea have certainly dropped down a little bit from where they were in the, the Premier League. But I expect them to win. I think it'll be very tight in this one. There may be quite a few people that will easily back Chelsea in this one. I'll go 1-0 to the Blues in this one. Um, maybe Romelu Lukaku may turn up and score a goal. You've also got Mason Mount in there. Kai Havertz. Chelsea, the current Champions League holders, they won't want to muck up at this stage, especially against a side like this. But I think, do think it'll be very close. So 1-0 uh, to the home side in the first leg of this game. Second uh, to last one now is Atletico Madrid against a struggling Manchester United side. Of course, Atletico Madrid of La Liga of Spain. Man United struggling. Yeah... I know this is such a big game and then you've got the likes of like losing to Middlesbrough in the FA Cup. The FA Cup special, anything can happen in this. Really, anything can happen in any game. But I do think Man United will turn up for big games like the round of 16. It means a lot to Cristiano Ronaldo. And I'm going to back United to get a narrow 2-1 away victory in the first leg uh, in Madrid here. Um yeah, again, I'll back both teams to score in this game. Two top-class sides. Um, just maybe a few of you will say Atletico Madrid to win because Man United is currently struggling in the Premier League. They're still uh, high in the Premier League. And uh, it's just some, some sometimes, I mean, with Man United, you expect them to win every game and to be top of the Premier League. And then you look at them in the league and they're just nowhere near top spot where Manchester City is absolutely... Uh, running away with it but a big game for Cristiano Ronaldo especially big game for Man United as well they'll, they'll win 2-1 uh, in this game and then the final game is Benfica against the mighty Ajax of Netherlands Ajax has been absolutely superb in the Champions League so far in in the Dutch League as well Sebastian Haller some very good a very good striker along with Loads of other players as well. I know that I'm not, I'm not quite familiar of the of the Netherlands league. I know Benfica of the Portuguese league, and it's a it'll, again another good game in this one. But Ajax, I'll back to win two nil away from home, and uh, I'll say Ajax just a a little bit too strong um, for for Benfica, but it will be tight. Uh, I know Ajax, I mean, they beat Dortmund, was it like 4-1 or something like that? Ajax, the turning up against the top sides and they, they, they almost beat Tottenham uh, in the semi-finals of the Champions League just a few uh, few years back. Um, but Tottenham just edged it into the final to play Liverpool where they lost 2-0. But Ajax, good side. They'll get through to the quarterfinals. Well, I'm not even here for the second leg prediction, but I do think overall on both legs, Ajax will make it through. It'll be a 2-0 away victory for Ajax in this game. And that concludes my Champions League predictions. Leg one of two for the round of 16. I'll see you all next time. Bye.